Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about a few ways of how you can interact with matrices and vectors in MATCAD Prime. And I'm going to show you a few useful functions and operators for matrix and vector manipulation. Let's start with the matrix of random numbers called M. If we want to add blank rows and columns to this matrix, we need to place the cursor inside the matrix. And from the matrix and tables tab, we have the option to insert row above insert row below, insert column left, and insert column right. Keyboard shortcuts are also available for these commands. Shift enter will add a blank row and shift space will add a blank column. In this case, if the cursor is placed in front of the value, the row will be inserted above and the column to the left. If we place the cursor after the value, the row will be inserted below and the column to the right. Deleting data from a matrix can be done by placing the cursor on a row or column and from the ribbon we have the option to delete row or delete column. As an alternative you can select the values that you want to delete and you can press the delete key on the keyboard. If you need to clear certain values without removing the row or column, select the range of data that you want to remove and on the ribbon you have the option to clear cells. You can now replace the old values with new ones. When working with a large matrix that takes a lot of space in the document, you can resize the matrix so it only shows a part of the data. This can be done by dragging up the bottom right corner like we're doing right here. Clicking on these three dots will enable the matrix navigator that allows you to scroll through the data in the matrix. If the collapsed matrix is selected, the row and column indices are visible. If you want to see them even when the region is not selected, you have the option to show indices. And when you click outside, you can still have the indices shown on the sides. And next to the indices option, we have the collapsed nested matrices button that can be used when dealing with nested arrays. We have here an example of a nested array. And if we press the collapse nested matrices option, you can see that the vectors are expanded and we can fully see the values. If we don't want to do this, we can leave it enabled and this will only show the size of the two vectors that are nested. In the second example, I'm going to extract some data from the matrix M defined previously that will be used to create new arrays of data using some of the built-in functions and operators. Let's go ahead and define a variable V1 and we're gonna assign a column of data to it. This data comes from the matrix M. To do that, I will type in the name of the matrix and then I will use the column operator and specify which column I want to extract from the matrix. The keyboard shortcut for this operator is Ctrl Shift C. In a similar way, I'm gonna create another variable called V2 and this time I'm gonna use the row operator, Ctrl Shift R, to extract a row from the matrix. We can now evaluate the variables to display the results. So v1 is equal to and v2 is equal to. For the first case, I'm going to define a variable called w and I'm going to assign to it the function stack. So we're going to type in the name of the function and I also need to provide some arguments to the function. So I'm going to type in v1 and v2 and for V2, I'm going to apply the transpose operator by hitting the keyboard shortcuts, Ctrl, Shift, T. Evaluating W will return a vector of values containing all the values in V1 and V2 stacked together. For the second case, I'm going to create a new variable called Q. But this time, I'm going to use the augment function. And as arguments to the function, I'm going to pass V1 v2 transposed like we did for the, lab, the previous one and we're going to put in another argument that will be v1 plus v2 transposed. If we evaluate q we will get a three column matrix containing the values of v1 and v2 as well as the sum of the two vectors. Now that we saw how each of the operators and function works individually, we can combine them to perform multiple operations with a single expression. I have prepared here an example where I use multiple stack functions as argument to the augment function to create a table-like array 
with a header and we can also change the number of the columns that are used in the calculation by changing the selection in the drop-down lists at the top. So let's go ahead and evaluate the variable table. We can see the array and changing the drop-down menus here, we vary the number of the column so we get a different result each time. This is an example of how you can leverage MATCAT function and operators to prepare your data so it can be used as input for an Excel component. So let's go ahead and insert an Excel component. And we're going to use the insert input expression. We're going to type in the name of the variable. And we can now collapse the two areas, resize it, and we can open the Excel component and apply some formatting to uh, our table. I will stop here for now. If you want to learn more about MATCAD, you can find more clips like this on the channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.